Dear God, we come before you. We are so happy. We are so excited and we are so blessed that these two have come together, Lord. And uh, just taking it from Emily's side as her father, I'm extremely happy and extremely excited to have Donnie as my son-in-law, to have him in our family. But God, most of all, we thank you that they believe in you and they believe in your son and they, uh, they just they think the world of you and what you've done and that's the most incredible thing in this world. But again, we thank you so much for all these people here, all the family, and just thank you for the food that we have and just for the great night in store. And through your son's name we pray this prayer. Amen. The state of matrimony is based on a deep, invisible union of two souls who seek to find completion in one another. And every love story begins in its own way. Donnie and Emily's began many years ago disguised as a, ca a casual friendship. They remained friends through graduations from schools in different states, through Emily's move to Oklahoma and new careers for both of them. And once Emily returned to Tennessee, they discovered that underneath their similar interests and sarcastic sense of humors lay something that felt a lot like love. Anyone who's spent a lot of time with Donnie and Emily can tell you that the relationship is built on love, respect, and a lot of laughter. They embrace adventure. They support each other when times are bad, like when the Vols lose to Florida yet again. <laughs> and when times are exciting, like when they're jumping out of planes or traveling to new places. And they are so excited to stand here today in front of those who love them the most to start their new lives as husband and wife. First off, let me apologize for using this tiny paper. First off, let me apologize for using this tiny paper. <laughs> I guess that's the price you pay for waiting until the last minute. Which is ironic, because I knew that I wanted to marry you two weeks into our relationship. You have made my life so much better just by being yourself. You always know how to make me laugh, make me smile, and ultimately make me happy. It's kind of amazing that our wedding is today. We've planned this for so long, and it always felt so far away, but now it's here, and that couldn't possibly be more exciting. We're going to spend the rest of our lives together, laughing, crying, praying, all of it. I could not imagine a better companion for my life. It's amazing to me that I have found someone so caring, so supportive, and so loving. I know life will not always be easy. There will be challenges and difficult times, and while those times may be scary, I know that with you by my side, we can get through anything. When I think about our time together, all I can do is smile. We have made enough memories to last a lifetime in two short years. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. The thought of you walking down the aisle, looking radiant, is too much for me. Also, I'm sorry for my horrendous handwriting. I love you, I get to marry you today, and I feel like the luckiest person in the world. I love you. I've been wanting to marry you since that one magical weekend in September two years ago. Do you remember what I'm talking about? We went to the drive-in, did some volunteering, and went to the Titans Detroit. It was a crazy game. On Sunday, I remember sitting next to you in those super high seats and thinking, 
I've got to marry this man. This is what life is supposed to be about. Adventures, fun, laughter, and overwhelming love. You continue to make life better each and every day I'm with you. Your strong, loyal, forgiving love has helped me become a better person. Your selflessness never fails to humble me. I couldn't imagine life without you. I can't even try. Today, I am so excited to become your wife. I know I'll probably cry a lot, but it's only because my heart can't contain my joy and because I'm a shameless crier. God has blessed me in so many ways, but I'll never fully understand how he gave me you. I can't wait to take on this new life together. It won't always be easy or fun, but I know I won't ever be alone, and that is the greatest knowledge. I don't fear the unknown when I'm standing next to you. You are my comforter, my protector, my joy, and my peace. You, Donnie Conley, are quite simply the best thing that's ever happened to me. I can't wait to walk down that aisle and meet you at the end, ready to take your hand, your name, and be yours forever. All my love. from pathways of our past and then move forward hand in hand along the uncharted roads of our future ready to risk to dream and to dare and believe that all things are possible with love and faith in God and in each other Donnie do you have some vows you'd like to say to me? Good <laughs> I promise to love you always, when it's easy and fun, and when it's difficult and challenging. I promise to wake up each morning and choose you to be my comforter, my partner, and my best friend. No matter what life throws our way, I'll stand by you, shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand, confident in the knowledge that in you, I've found my one true love. Emily, do you have some for Donna? I promise to love you always, when it's easy and fun, and when it's difficult and challenging. I promise to wake up each morning and choose you to be my comforter, my partner, and my best friend. No matter what life throws our way, I'll stand by you, shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand, confident in the knowledge that in you, I found my one true love. As much as you, Donnie, and your family have made this a promise of marriage, and you pledge your faith in the presence of God, your, friend, your friends and family, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Donnie Connolly.